Hello friends, welcome to Unveil the New. Today we are going to discuss about a device that has changed the face of electronics. Do you want to know about the device? Then stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So the device name is BJT. BJT stands for Bipolar Junction Transistor. Now what is the meaning of Bipolar Junction and Transistor? So let us quickly see the meaning of Bipolar Junction and Transistor. Bipolar का मतलब है कि यहाँ पे जो current flow हो रहा है through the BJT, that is because of the electrons as well as the holes. So electrons and holes together making sure that current is flowing through the BJT. So that is why bipolar is there. Now if we talk about the junction, in the construction of the BJT, there is junction, PN junction that is formed into the BJT and that is why junction is there into the name of BJT. Now the third thing is transistor. Transistor means transfer register. Here the input register is transferred to the output register and that is why transistor name is there and the main function of this device is the transistor itself. Okay, So there are so many categories of transistors and in which BJT is the first one. Now if we talk or if we compare the BJT to the earlier device that is PN junction diode then we can see that BJT has the advantage of the controlling element because PN junction diode cannot be controlled. We know that PN junction diode can work in the forward bias only. That means if we connect the P-type semiconductor material with the positive terminal of the battery at that time what will happen the current will flow across the PN junction diode and if we reverse the polarity of the battery at that time current will not take the place across the PN junction diode. So we cannot control the current that is flowing through the PN junction diode. Okay, so that is why it is known as an uncontrolled device. But in the BJT what we can do, we can control the current that is flowing across the BJT. So that is why it is having the advantage of controlling element. Now we have talked so much about the BJT and its advantages. Now let us see the construction of the BJT. And before that let us see the types of BJT. So BJT is having a two types. One is PNP transistor and second is NPN transistor. Now if you see the construction then NPN transistor can be constructed by sandwiching a thin P type semiconductor material between two N type semiconductor material. Similarly PNP transistor can be made by sandwiching a thin N type semiconductor material between two P type semiconductor material. So here are the construction of the NPN transistor as well as the PNP transistor. So here as you can see there are three layers N type, P type and N type in the NPN transistor, P type, N type and P type into the PNP transistor. So here the middle layer is known as the base. Okay. So whether it is NPN transistor or the PNP transistor, the middle layer is known as a base terminal and base terminal is very thin among the other two terminals. Okay. And it is also having a likely doping. Now if we are talking about the doping, then doping is the process of adding the impurities into the semiconductor devices. Okay. So that is doping. So the base is very likely doped and it is very thin. Now the leftmost layer is known as a emitter. And emitter is highly doped and it is having a, a medium size compared to the all the three terminals it is having a medium size and if we talk about the collector that is in the rightmost side of the NPN or PNP transistor that is collector collector is slightly less doped than the emitter but it is having a wider area so here if we see the construction we are having a two PN junction that is formed uh, between the two P type and N type or N type and P type semiconductor material. Okay, so that is why we are having a two junctions that is created. One is between emitter and base, and second is between base and collector. So the junction that is formed between emitter and base that is known as the emitter base junction, and the junction that is formed between the base and collector that is known as the collector base or base collector junction. Okay, so here are the few things about the NPN or PNP transistor. Now let us see the symbols of NPN and PNP transistor. So if we see the symbol, the, both the symbols are very much similar. But the only difference between NPN transistor and PNP transistor is the direction of the arrow. So if the arrow is towards the base terminal, then it is known as a PNP transistor. And if the arrow is away from the base terminal, then it is known as a NPN transistor. Now, if we see in the PNP transistor, when the PNP transistor is in the forward bias, that means the base emitter junction is in the forward bias, at the time, holes will move towards the base terminal. 
and that is the direction of the particular current that is flowing through the PNP transistor. So PNP transistor में क्या हो रहा है कि holes के जो भी है हमारे वो move करेंगे emitter से base terminal की तरफ और हमारा current भी उसी direction में conventionally अगर हम उसकी direction को follow करें तो current भी same direction में ही flow होगा. But NPN transistor में क्या हो रहा है कि NPN transistor में हमारा current है base से emitter की तरफ flow हो रहा है और particularly जो हमारे electrons हैं वो emitter से base की तरफ flow हो रहे हैं. ठीक है तो ये हो गए हमारे सिंबल्स इसका कंस्ट्रक्शन और इसकी बेसिक थिंग्स ऑफ बीजेट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द बीजेटी इन द कमिंग वीडियोस थैंक यू वेरी मच गाइस फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो